It's time to predict the scores of week 27 of this 2022-2023 Premier League season. Our last week in game week 26, our friend Mr. Douglas James Horn came out on top with 16 and a half points and three perfect scores just in front of Oxlade 17 who came away with four perfect scores. How that affects the overall leaderboard now? Well, top of the shot as usual, mm -hmm. Ferris 77 on 280. 48.5 points, followed by Bogner Rocks on 241.5 points, and Yao Form VP moving up to third position on 238.5 points. But we've got a big game week to predict the scores yeah. for 12 games to predict from Saturday the 11th of March to Wednesday the 15th of March. So let's just get down to business. Okay, so first up we have the midday on Saturday, the Bournemouth versus Liverpool. Now Liverpool 7-0, brilliant performance, Man United, well, we will get onto them later. Whereas Bournemouth, a bit of a topsy-turvy game um, against Arsenal, one net, uh, were 2-0 up and then they ended up bottling it 3-2, but they are playing against the leaders. Of course, Liverpool, I think they're going to gain confidence and they massively needed that confidence boost. On their, well, they have five matches without a loss now, which is very good, so... Going to give it to Liverpool. Lots of 2-0s in there that they've been winning recently, so it's going to be another 2-0 away victory. Yeah, as you say, Liverpool actually in fine form, up to fifth in the table. They've actually had five clean sheets on the bounce in the Premier League. We're not talking about that loss against Real Madrid, and they actually play Real Madrid, I think it's next yes. week, in the Champions League as well, so they're going to be gearing up for that. Uh, Bournemouth coming off that defeat against Arsenal, was it eight seconds, ten seconds? Straight away, yeah. Scored from the kickoff, and Arsenal showed a lot of resilience coming back to, uh, to pit them at the post right in, was it, in injury time yep. in that one. But Liverpool, 7 0, you say, Nathan. Full of confidence going into this game away from home. I'm going to go for a 2 0 victory to the Reds as well. We then move on to the first of the three o'clock kickoffs, which sees N Everton taking on Brentford. Everton still in the bottom three, where they're a point above Southampton and Bournemouth. Brentford, on the other hand, two games in th this game week. Another fine Brentford victory. Everything. Yeah, another fine victory against close neighbours, Fulham, who, who actually got another goal. Mm -hmm. Was it something in the 99th minute from yeah. Vinicius mm -hmm. got another goal in injury time very there. good game it was as well in this one Everton at home they've really got to start winning now or pulling out you know something out of the bag okay they have got two victories in the last six but this Brentford side only four defeats all season second best in the league for losses. I think they'll go up to Goodison Park and come away with a 2-0 victory. Interesting. I'm going to go one less. I'm going to go 1-0. Um, yeah, Everton are always going to be tight, especially under Sean Dyche as well. However, I think the honeymoon period is over. But, yeah, there you go again. Another victory for Brentford that'll be. That'll take them up to, what is it now, their 10th victory of the season. Really fighting with the top with the big boys there. Lots of draws as well for Brentford uh, this season. Anyway, moving on next, I've got Leeds versus Brighton. Leeds struggling like mad. They've got Javi Gratz here and he has not not a new manager bounce at the moment. I mean, okay, he did beat Southampton, but it's Southampton, of course. And then uh, Brighton Continuing their great form under Deserby, of course, 4 0 victors at West Ham. West Ham just didn't seem to perform in that one. No, it was at home, wasn't it, against West Ham? It was, of course, but yeah, I'm going to give it to Brighton in this one. I can't see. Leeds are going to be drawn into a relegation battle, which they're already pretty much in, so I'm going to go 2 0. 2 0. Well, Leeds at home, probably better than they are on the road. You know, there's plenty of yeah. attacking threat there, but Brighton, absolutely sublime at the moment. A, a fantastic victory against yeah. West Ham. They could have scored a lot more goals than that. you got Sonny Marsh McAllister scoring with a penalty. Uh, Matoma's looking good. So, Toma, uh, even well, but popped up with a goal in that match against West Ham. I fully expect them to go to Leeds where they can be a little bit open and that will benefit Brighton. So, I'm going to go for a free one away victory to the Seagulls. We then move on to Leicester City against Chelsea. Now Chelsea, magnificent victory in the Champions League against Dortmund where they, they pulled out of the fire and now they're into the, the quarterfinals. In the league, 
struggling slightly. Only one win in their last and that six was against matches. Leeds as well. Come that on. was against Leeds in their, their last match. Leicester City losing against uh, Southampton at Southampton on uh, on Saturday. We evening. actually, or I don't know if you watched that in we um, did. Elevens is in Cardiff, Gareth Bale's bar. <laughs> we um, did. What a reaction it was as well when Danny Ward saved that he penalty. He did, but then he whole bar um, erupted. <laughs> it was, but they they succumbed in the end where they, they, where did, they lost. Yes. And in this match, I fully expect uh, Chelsea again to keep a clean sheet even though they have got a few injuries and uh, troubles at the back and I'm actually going to go for a, a narrow away victory to the Blues in this one 1-0. One Interesting yeah even though Southampton have improved and they did end up beating Leicester right? I don't know why I can just see this game being a draw it will be the most Chelsea thing ever to draw this match considering their recent form but yeah Leicester needs to hibernate until the end of the season need to bounce back I think Brenda's going to be out the door uh, the summer transfer window so I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw next up we've got Tottenham coming up against Nottingham Forest say no more Forest away form terrible I think they'll score a goal uh, Spurs sneak 2-2-1 two, 2-2-1 two, one. Two, two, one, yeah well I think Spurs should win at home last week they lost against Wolves dear oh dear yeah. Nottingham Forest as you say um, away form terrible Brendan Johnson getting on the score Much sheet in that 2-2 draw last week against Everton. Really, that was a game they should be looking to win. In this one, I think at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, they may have a few problems. Although, going forward, Spurs aren't mm -hmm. looking that great at the moment. Harry Kane not really getting amongst the goals, although... He, he does seem to pop up in these types of games and I think he will in this one I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to Spurs but I don't think they'll have it all their own way in that match then we move on to the 5.30pm kickoff live on Sky we've got Crystal Palace coming against Manchester City Manchester City really need to win this victory because they are 5 points behind Arsenal at the time of recording I think they'll get eight, all three points in this one, but Crystal Palace, a real tough nut to crack. They don't concede many goals. In fact, they did lose against Manchester United 2-1 at not Old Trafford on the 4th of February, but not scoring many, not conceding many either. Two defeats in their, their last six, but I think Manchester City will come away with all three points, but I think it'll be very, very difficult to break down this Crystal Palace side who have got Wilfred Zaha back now and I can see the citizens winning this one 2-1. Yeah, that could very well be um, the reason that they haven't been performing is because uh, Zaha's been out, but what I think has massively gone under the radar is that they have joint, Palace have the joint worst form currently in the Premier League, and I they they need a big victory to get their confidence back. I cannot see it against Man City. 3 1. 3 1. Moving on to the Sunday matches. First up, we've got Fulham against Arsenal. Now, Arsenal sitting pretty, as you know, at the top of the Premier League. Ever since that stumble they had all those weeks ago, they have really bounced back. Uh, another one for the taking in Fulham. Yes, they did lose to uh, Brentford last time around, but I have actually been quite impressed with them recently as well. Really grinding out fixtures. They, they had, do need to obviously get the points in, but. Then playing Arsenal around now will be a really good test for them. It could, they could potentially sneak a few goals in there or something, but difficult. I'm going to say 2-1 to the Gunners. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really tight match. Um, Fulham's defence has been really good in recent yeah. weeks up until that 3-2 uh, defeat against Brentford. Uh, Arsenal, top of the table. Lots of attacking threat going forward. That They did concede two goals against Bournemouth. However, I think they're going to tighten up in this one. And I can see Arsenal just sneaking it 1-0. We then move on to the Manchester United against Southampton match. Also on Sunday afternoon, Man United... As we know, absolutely destroyed by Liverpool at Anfield. They were in it in the first half, but completely capitulated mentally by the looks of it in that second half. Coming up against Southampton to see a team who will be really, really hard to break down. However, they, I, I think there will be a real action at Old Trafford. I think... Rashford has scored something like, I can't remember, yeah. five, six or seven matches on the trot at Old Trafford. And I can see him scoring again here in a 2-0 victory to the Red Devils. I'm actually going to go more than that. I'm going to go for a surprise in 5-0. I, ah, I really? do think wow. watching Southampton Leicester, the quality wasn't really there. And Ten Hag's going to have them right fired up, to be honest. And yeah, 5-0. Southampton do look a lot more comfortable, but... They're there for the taking, to be honest. Anyway, moving on next up, we've got West Ham versus Aston Villa. West Ham, 
have stumbled a bit ever since beating Nottingham Forest 4-0 uh, at home. They do have good home form, however. Um, haven't actually lost at home in quite some time yeah, I think now. it was the end of December. It was, yes. And they're coming up against the Villa side, who are starting to bounce back, and they're beating teams around them, which I do think is going to play into the villain's advantage from 2-1. 2-1 to Aston Villa? Yes. Exactly the same as me. Yeah. And since Uriah yeah. Emery come, has come in, he, Aston Villa are looking a lot better. Ollie Watkins been getting on the score really sheet, sheet uh, regularly recently. West Ham a little bit better at home than they are away. Um, they haven't been defeated in the last three matches at home. So I think they will score, but I think Villa will gain all three points in a narrow 2-1 away victory. Then we move on to the 4.30 kickoff live on Sky. Newcastle coming up against Wolves. Now, Newcastle's form really have sort of... It's nosedives recently. Yeah, back but look at the pack, fixtures, though. Yeah, back-to-back -back defeats against Liverpool and Manchester City. And prior to that, they were finding it really difficult to, sc to score. Callum Wilson, the likes of Isaac as mm. well, not finding the back of the net. So um, they really need to pull things around against a, really a resolute wolf side. Mm, and only, Lopetegui, yeah, yeah, really good. Only suffered defeat twice in the last six matches. A very good home victory against Tottenham. Beating teams in around them as well. Their last game. I think Newcastle will bounce back. They really need to pull it around now. Maybe mentally after that defeat at Wembley against Manchester United in the Carabao Cup has affected them. But I think they will bounce back in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to the Magpies. I think it is highly likely that they are going to bounce back. But I don't know why. I can just see Wolves grabbing a point here. Right. If I'm honest, I think they should have a lot points than they actually do at the moment under Lopetegui, to be honest. Because they have been solid. So 1-1. One, one. Okay, so moving on to Wednesday now. we got the M23 derby between Brighton and Crystal Palace. For me, it's a only going one way on this one. Palace with their recent form. Yeah, can't see him beating Brighton away, to be honest. I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0. Palace, as we've already said, very hard to break down. Brighton, they could run riot with they that could, midfielder because yeah. they haven't really got a recognised amazing striker for them. Ferguson is there and well, mm -hmm. but uh, you can't really see them banging in the goals. But I am going to go for a 2-0 home victory to Brighton just because of that midfield and the likes of Estupidan going forward yeah. is really dangerous as well. So a 2-0 victory to the Seagulls in this one. And the final fixture of this game week also takes place on Wednesday evening at the same time at 7 30 we've got Southampton against Brentford I do think Brentford will come away yes. with all three points <laughs> but I think it'll be narrow I think it will be a 1-0 victory to Brentford probably an Ivan Tony goals because he's been in phenomenal form as well we're not sure about when he banned for his indiscrepancies yep. and also he's I think he's on some like eight or nine yellow cards as well is, once you yeah. re reach 10 you do get a two game ban but I think you'll pop up we have a goal in this one to spearhead the bees be to a 1 0 win. Yeah, I'm probably going to put a bet on um, Ivan Tony scoring, to be honest. So, Brentford are going to unload 3 1. 3 1. Wow. So, that concludes our predictions for week 27 of this 2022 2023 Premier League season. As usual, make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Brew website. This idiot forgot to put them in last week, and that's stunted my growth really in climbing at the table but I have actually already submitted my scores for this week so hopefully I'll move up let's all see if we can catch up with the likes of Ferris 77 at the top of that table Nathan Cardiff City away on Saturday against Preston so uh, we won't be going to that match but we'll People are asking for lives over I have no channel. idea if they'll be alive this weekend. No, not, not even a Premier League match. Not a clue. Excellent. So, thanks for joining us once again. Make sure you leave your predictions over at Super Brew. Enjoy your Premier League weekend, and we'll see you all in the next video. My whole life, I just wanted to be somebody to be. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great yeah.